Hi guys, so today I want to show you a really cool website that you can use to find out if a product is a, a skin product or any type of product uh, is good for your skin and also if it's dangerous and has um, the probability of giving you uh, a cancer or any type of dermatitis so um, this is what I'm going to do I'm going to show you a quick visual presentation of the website the name of the website is skin EWG skin dip okay so let's go into the presentation skin dip and this website is used to look for a skin product and also check if the ingredients are dangerous or toxic in addition to that because we cannot forget the good part uh, it also gives you uh, the results of ingredients that are not dangerous for your skin so let's go into first the score chart so this website has a, a a score chart that they give to the product so one being the best and three to six being average and seven to ten being the worst so now let's look at the things that they have so they have four categories so when you look for a product in the website and you type the name of that product you are gonna see four categories that are going to appear in ingredient concerns so the four categories are cancer developmental and reproductive toxicity allergies and immunotoxicity and also use restrictions so what does that mean so the first category which is cancer means that can cancer ingredients link to cancer in government industry or academy studies or assessments so this is based on research now developmental reproductive toxicity what does that mean so developmental and reproductive toxicity are ingredients linked to developmental and reproductive toxicity a broad class of health effects that range from infertility and reproductive organ cancers to birth defects and de developmental delays in children so this is why eating healthy and foods that are known uh, how can you say this uh, food that are like organic and natural that those don't have any chemicals are very important especially when you are a woman and you're gonna have a baby so now allergies and you you immunotoxicity okay that word is difficult allergies so what does that category mean so allergy and immunotoxicity are ingredients linked to harm the immune system a class of health problems that manifest as allergic reactions or an impaired capacity to fight disease and repair damaged tissue in the body now let's go to the last category which is for me the most difficult because I, I because I still cannot understand um, what do they mean by use restrictions if that means to use in a you know to use little amount or to control the amount that you use so let's read this use restrictions restrict or prohibit for use in comes cosmetics cosmetics according to industry safety guidelines government requirements or guidance from the u.s united states uh, euro japan or canada okay great so 
apparently those ingredients might be dangerous because if they put use restrictions they're putting in restrictions so that you should you shouldn't be using those products okay now uh i thought i had more information so now let's go to the website so i want to show you so today um i want to show you a product that i got so i got the naked organic lip balm by dr Bronner's, and i'm gonna check if it has any healthy ingredients if it has any allergies that people have reported so i'm gonna type the name so i'm gonna go to the main page and i'm gonna type the name in the search bar i'm gonna close this and type the name dr browner's naked lip balm and it appears here, so I'm gonna search. So what you wanna do is that you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see the score is a one, which means that is good. It's like the best. And it's, we're gonna scroll down to see the ingredients concerns. So I see that for cancer, green, that means that is good. Is there's a low probability for cancer. Here, developmental reproductive toxicity is green, so that means that is low, and hence is skin absorption. None, allergies and immunotoxicity, none, so that's good. And uh, use restriction, so contamination concerns. So this thing has contamination concerns. It's a lip balm that I'm going to use but it says moderate contamination concerns so let's go to the bottom where you can see the ingredients and let's see the concerns so it says ingredient fair cannabis sativa hensi oil it says use restrictions moderate so they are putting restrictions on how people use it and we have avocado oil, persia gratissima, which is apparently a herb, bees, watts, jojoba sea oil, and tocopherol. Tocopherol, I look up this ingredient because this ingredient appears in many skin products. And it says that it is good. It hasn't shown any probability of giving cancer to people. But according to then, it says cancer low, which my um it might have to do with a research that some people did. But according to other people, um this pro this ingredient is good. So says low. Uh, I'm concerned about this thing here which it says hydroquinone which is a bad ingredient for the skin um but i'm gonna trust them they gave them they gave this a one so which is good and most of the ingredients also have a score here and they have one 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 and two okay so now this uh ew jean skin dip also has a uh, app that you can download in your phone which is called healthy living healthy living so you go to the app store in your phone and you're gonna uh, search for the name of healthy living or use our app healthy living skin dip food scores it doesn't just give you the um scores of a skin product but it also give you the score of food 
so this is really good and if they don't have that product what you can do is that you can take a picture from your phone and add a product add add the name of the product and also take a pictures of the ingredients and they take a few months to add the product into the website but i think it's really cool now let's go into another part of this presentation that i want to show you and is this so so according to the dermatologist dr shay uh which is really she's good she gives advice on youtube about skin products she said that you can guess you can get um dermatitis by having an allergic reaction to something so allergies are a, a strong concern so something you are actually allergic to can create dermatitis in your skin in addition to that some of the ingredients that are irritating for your skin can be fragrance essential oils flavorings mint cinnamon um the colorizers that they use also be these watts so now i want to show you another cool thing so let's look at aquaphor in here since aquaphor is the most popular ingredient um that you guys use so aquaphor in this website it has a two so the healing ointment has a two so let's look at this healing ointment okay so i see that cancer none i see that developmental and reproductive toxicity is none uh but i do see a problem here and it's about the allergies so is moderate so it might create allergy in some people so let's look at the ingredients and let's check what are the ingredients that might cause allergies so some of the ingredients here it says mineral oil and mineral oil can be bad for the skin so it says allergy immunotoxicity moderate and it also says concern non reproductive organ system toxicity and let's look at another one that causes allergy so lanolin it says lanolin alcohol allergies immunotoxicity moderate non reproductive organ system moderate um system toxicity so it's moderate which means that the allergies might be average it isn't that bad it isn't that high but it's something that you should be concerned because mm, people skin is different uh some individual might be more immune to a certain product than others so now um what else i was going to say oh yeah yes so the reason why i decided to do this video was because in my dna when i was looking at my dna i found a that i had a toxicity to vaccine and this ingredient this chemical ingredient is found in some cooking oils it also found in some beverages and gas stations in addition to that um the toxicity amount that i have in my body is very low but at the same time it might be dangerous because in addition i found that petrolat petroleum or i as you might want to say petrolatum is um part of that compound of ben benzene so i'm a little bit worried about that a little bit concerned um it wasn't that high but 
yes, I do have a certain amount of toxicity. And as you can see, I do use a lot of um, lip balms with pet petroleum. And they say that petroleum is a healing ingredient, but here um, it's showing something different. It might be bad. I don't know. I don't know what is your opinion about it. So um, I'm going to close this and leave a message um, in the comment section so we can see our differences and opinions. Guys, so let me know if you have any questions. Right now, I'm using, um, I don't know if you can see the name, but I'm using this lip balm. Um, it's Dr. Browner's Naked um, Organic um, Lip Balm. And it's not that bad, uh, to be completely honest. I also uh, decided to get this uh, from the Whole Foods supermarket, the Calendula oil. I decided to get it, you know, if this doesn't work, let me get this a try, you know. Um, and just let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to answer them uh, slowly. You know, I'm a human. I'm also busy like you. But yeah, just drop a comment and let me know um like i told you yesterday's my lips were not that bad uh they do um have like an allergy reaction to the serum that i was using so i decided to stop i decided to stop and yesterday what i put i have it here um yesterday i put cerave cerave um healing ointment but um i'm not sure because this has mineral oil and this also happened petrolatum so um i'm not really sure what is good or what is bad because there are so many like contradictions against um, people who do research, scientific research, and tell something different than dermatologists. So, yeah. Um, yeah, my lips are looking great right now. I cannot complain. Um, I waited a long time for my lips to look like this and yeah so let me know it hurts a little bit uh like i told you for the allergic reaction but it's okay i can handle that i have been handling a lot of things that are much much worse in my life so yeah bye bye